right, with that being said, um, I want to go ahead and welcome everyone again to another webinar here at the Credit Union. We're really excited to uh, to have you uh, join us on, um, on a very uh, exciting topic, especially now that we are pretty much in the spring season. And I know uh, lots of people, this is a time where a lot of people, they either, you know, want to upgrade their, uh, upgrade their homes or they are looking for ways to do um, uh, home improvements, you know, where it's getting your, um, getting your garden, your patio ready for, for the summertime. And you need a little bit of, you know, of, um, get access to, uh, to some, uh, to some uh, cash to pay for those projects uh, and don't want to go in and get into, you know, um, and, and use your credit cards or, or all their means that might be, might, might be charging you higher interest rates then, um, then you are at the right webinar. So this evening we'll be uh, talking about our home equity loans and lines of credits. Uh, we have two experts. Um, and when I say experts, I actually mean it. Um, we have uh, an excellent panel that will be leading this presentation for you all this evening. Uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce the panel like always. Um, I guess I'll start with myself first. Uh, as many of you all know me, uh, my name is Milton, and I'm the uh, Membership Development Officer here at the Credit Union, um, along with my colleague, Eddie Villanueva, from our marketing team. He will be uh, keeping track of the uh, Q&A and also in the chat. Uh, so again, <clears throat> if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to uh, send, send those questions in there, um, and then we'll, be, uh, we'll be more than happy to answer the questions are, as they come along, and obviously we'll, we'll be making sure we give you a live answer towards the end of that presentation. Um, with that being said, uh, also in the background, we have our, um, uh, the person that pretty much is the brain of all of this, the stuff that you're going to be seeing here on, on, on the presentation uh, from our marketing department, also uh, Carrie Lazar, um, who will be uh, kind of like in the, in the background today, but still she is part of the panel. Um, but with that being said, let me go ahead and introduce the experts. There she is. Hi, Carrie. Um, let me go ahead and introduce the experts. So with us this evening, we have Ms. Sharon McDonald's, who has been with the credit union for two years now, has 15 years of banking experience. Uh, she's actually our home equity assistant manager in the lending department. So very knowledgeable about, you know, about all the, all, all there is, um, about all the questions that you might have uh, related to uh, home equity. So uh, Sharon, thank you so much for being with us. And along with Sharon, we have Kelly Pasilio, who is our manager of real estate lending. Uh, a little bit of background on Kelly. She's actually been with the credit union, with the United States Senate Federal Credit Union for eight years now. Um, and, um, and you'll be surprised. She actually started banking at a very early age because she told us that uh, she's been, uh, she's got uh, just a little over 40 years of banking experience. So uh, she said she started banking when she was in middle school. So um, we are very grateful that uh, Kelly is uh, joining us this evening. So with that being said, I don't wanna take much of their time. Uh, Ms. Sharon, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to you. So take it away from me. Thank you, Milton, and welcome everybody. Um, I'm Sharon McDonald, the Home Equity um, Manager here at United States Senate Federal Credit Union. And our topic of today is home equity loans and home equity lines of credit. Like Milton said, this is the springtime is the time of the year when a lot of our members are looking to do home improvement projects and the home equity loan or the home equity line and credit is a great option. For those of you that are new to this concept, the home equity loan basics is, it's the difference between your home value and what you currently owe on um, an existing mortgage. Our home equity loans are secured against um, your home, so it'll be a second lien. And um, the rates on our home equities are very competitive. And generally the rates on the home equity are a lot lower than what you would get with a um, unsecured loan. Um, so um, you're using your home as collateral 
And like I said, if you have an existing first, the home equity loan will be a second lien against your property. How you would determine the available equity that you have in your property, you would look at the, your home value. And if the lender is offering up to 80% loan to value, you would multiply your home value by that 80%. Um, and then whatever that figure is, you would deduct your first mortgage. And the difference would be what you would have available to consider for a home equity loan. Let's, um, as an example, if the home value was 300,000 and the lender was financing at 80% loan to value. And um, in this scenario, your first mortgage is 150,000. If you do 80% of the 300,000, that would give us a figure of 240,000. And if we subtract um, the 150, the difference would be 90,000. And that's the amount that you could consider for a home equity loan in this, in this scenario. <clears throat> um, the home equity loan functions much like a mortgage. Um, the, the home equity is more of a fixed rate closed in installment loan. So you get the funds um, up front. Um, generally with the home equity loan, um, you have a fixed interest rate, a fixed payment for the, the term of the loan. A lot of members opt for the home equity loan for debt consolidation because they have a fixed amount that they want to use the funds for and or if they have a renovation project that they already know the amount um, of that project, they will use the home equity loan um, for that purpose. Our next slide, oh, the HELOX. So the other option that we have for our members is the home equity line of credit, the acronym HELOX. Um, it functions much like a credit card, that's secured against your home. So you're approved for a specific line and you have that amount to draw from as needed um, for reoccurring expenses. Some of the members use this product for tuition, medical um, expenses, home improvement projects that go over a period of time because the beauty of the HELOC is um, you're only paying interest on the outstanding balance. Um, the drawback for some members is that the interest rate on it is um, variable and um, the, pay the payments fluctuate. Um, our home equity is, uh, the interest rate is prime plus zero. Um, so currently it's at um, 8% but it's still a good product because if you have a, a project that you're working on or if you want to have an available line for future use, um, you're only going to pay interest on that um, outstanding amount. The, um, the HELOC works. Um, our home equity line of credit is a 20-year term with a 10-year draw period, which means um, you're approved for a certain dollar amount and you have 10 years to draw from that available limit. For uh, the credit union, we have two types of HELOCs. We have the interest only classic and we have the smart line, which is a principal and interest payment. So um, with both of the HELOCs, they're both uh, 20 year turns with a 10 year draw period. Once the 10 year draw period expire on either of these two HELOC products, you're in a repayment period, which means you can no longer draw from that available limit, but you're just paying down the balance and until the maturity date of that um, term. And with our HELOCs, if there's still a balance, um, then you would have to pay whatever that balance that's due. Excuse me, guys, my voice is getting hoarse. Um, but yeah, so um, the HELOC is, um, like I said, is pretty much works like a credit card. Um, you have the flexibility of having it available to use when you need it and not pay interest on any amount that um, 
and only paying interest on the outstanding amount that you're using. The, um, the pros of uh, and cons of the home equity and the home equity line of credit is uh, the interest rates are generally lower, um, as I stated earlier, on the home equity products as opposed to unsecured loan products. You have the ability to draw a large amount based on the equity in your home. For us, our HELOCs go up to um, 500,000 at 80% loan to value and 400,000 400, at 90% loan to value. And of course, um, you have the uh, potential tax break on the interest. And of course, with the fixed rate loans, you um, the fixed rate home equity, you have you know the security of knowing that your interest rate is fixed and your payment is fixed over the term of the loan. The cons, of course, however, it is a second lien if you have an existing first that's secured against your home. And um, if the market dips, then um, with the um, and your home value goes down, then you could potentially be underwater as far as um, the the outstanding liens on your property. So you would lose the equity in your property. Um, the comparison of the two, the home equity loan as opposed to the HELOC. Of course, with the home equity loan, you get the lump sum of money. With the HELOC, it's a line of credit, so you have it available for 10 years to draw against when needed. The terms on our home equity loans, um, the fixed rate closed in loans, um, ours go up to 15 years. And our HELOC is a 20 year term with a 10 year draw period. The payment on the home equity fixed rate loan is fixed. The interest rate is fixed for the term of the loan. Whereas with the HELOC, it's a variable interest rate based on prime. The fees on both of our HELOCs, whether you, you choose the home equity fixed rate installment loan or the HELOC are pretty much the same they go through the same qualifying um, process. So the app, um, the appraisal fee, the title fee, the recordation fees and taxes are pretty much the same on both products. So that, that there's not a real difference there. Um, the um, home equity um, fixed rate um, loan, of course, it's, um, you know, the payment um, and um, it, it doesn't fluctuate. It is a set payment as it would be with a car loan or personal loan. And, you know, the, the payoff term is the payoff term. The HELOC offers the flexibility to draw when needed. You're only paying interest on the outstanding balance as opposed to with the fixed rate. Um, if you didn't need that full amount, you're still gonna pay interest on it because the, month, the funds are funded to you. Um, one of the cons is usually the interest rate on the, the HELOC can um, um, fluctuate and um, the fixed rate, of course, is fixed. And then you have the potential of using the HELOC for purchases that are not essential. With the um, fixed rate home equity, it's just a one-time um, disbursement of the funds. And with the HELOC, of course, you have it available for 10 years to use as needed um, when um, situations arise. For the uh, second half of the presentation, um, I'm gonna let uh, Kelly, our um, real estate director take over. Thank you guys for your time. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, uh, Kelly. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, I'm gonna uh, continue with our um, PowerPoint presentation, um, reasons to borrow for a home equity loan, home renovations that'll increase your home value, 
like kitchen, bathroom, energy efficient upgrades. Those are those items are usually what will increase your value. Um, but of course, also too, people borrow for maintenance purposes. Um, maintenance could be, you know, um, replacing carpet, paint, um, roof repair, HVAC repair. Those are all very important things um, to keep the value and the and you know the maintenance of your property. But um, the kitchen and bathroom um, renovations and en energy efficient upgrades are actually that could, that can that can really add value to your property when you're trying to sell it. Um, also, unnecessary or unexpected home repairs, like I just mentioned, the furnace or the air conditioner. Um, and also, people do it for debt consolidation because the rates are usually lower for um, home equity loans and, and HELOCs. Um, next slide. Um, getting a loan, and we can help you with some of these before you actually apply. Um, you know, you want to determine how much equity is in your home. Um, you want to check your credit score. You know, there, there are um, ways to check your credit score. Um, you have the ability to um, get a free credit report from the credit bureaus once a year, but there are also other ways to do that. Also, just a tip, the credit score that you're seeing from whatever um, uh Reporting agency, um, it, it, it's probably not going to be the exact score that you will um, have when we actually pull the report. There could be a little bit of a variance. So just uh, I, I, we always let people know that. Um, but it will give you it, it'll give you an indication of, of you know, what, what range you're in when you when you pull your own credit report. Um, also, too, when you call us, we can we'll go over the rates and fees with you and help you apply. So that's what I would recommend if you're really interested is to call um, call us and one of our loan processors will be glad to go over everything with you and help you before you make the decision. Um, <clears throat> you want a few of the things that you'll need are, um, you know, when you apply and you can do it online, we can do it for you. Our um, online portal is very easy, but, you know, we need your social security number. You'll need a government ID to enter. Um, you also need to upload um, current address information. Um, we'll need your mo most current mortgage statement on your first. Um, we'll need your two most recent pay stubs, um, two most recent W-2s. If you're self-employed, we're gonna need at least two years of self-employed um, and personal tax returns. And of course, if you have a co-applicant, we're gonna need their information too. Next slide. Uh, one thing that we want to caution you about, just so you're aware, and I think this is, prevalent everywhere now, but you need to be aware of fraud, um, especially HELOC fraud, since it is a line of credit and you have essentially a line of credit on your house. Um, you know, if, if you, they can, you know, scammers and fraudsters can access, you know, they can get access to your account if, you know, you have, um, um, you know, something if somebody invades your your computer. So you just need to be um, mindful of that. And one of the um, best ways to um, handle that is to, you know, always look at your statements. I mean, even if you have online statements, you don't get a paper statement. You know, I would recommend at least every month go over your account, not only your home equity accounts and your accounts with us, but every bank account. Um, if you suspect fraud, call your lender, file a police report, and contact the, re the credit re reporting agencies to request that a fraud alert be placed on your credit report. That's just, this is just a, you know, um, just to make everyone aware um, that you need to, you know, monitor your accounts. 
um, loan qualifications. Um, we go up to um, 20, we, we will lend up to 90% um, loan to value up to 400,000 and 80% up to 500,000. Um, credits, you, you, the other thing, and that's something that we, you know, we determine when you apply, um, although sometimes we have to get an appraisal. Um, you also need to have a satisfactory credit score, debt ratio, debt to income ratio of 43% or lower. Now that is something that um, is not set in stone. Um, so if your debt ratio is higher than 43%, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be denied. Um, you know, and this, especially in this, you know, housing is expensive now. So we understand that, um, you know, a lot more, a, a bigger percentage of your housing allowance is, is, you know, taken out. So that's not, like I said, that's not set in stone and we will go over the numbers with you. We need to, you know, your sources of income um, and then an appraisal. Now we can do an online valutation in most cases, and if it's within um, our guidelines where we don't need an appraisal, um, that's great. It'll save you a little bit of money, but we won't know that until you know you apply. Anything over two hundred and fifty, though, if you apply for more than two hundred fifty thousand, you're going to need an appraisal. Um, the other documentation, like I had said before, you will need proof of your income, document documentation for certain life events, which means if you have outside income, child support, alimony, that sort of thing, you'll need to go and you want to use it to qualify for the loan, then you'll need to give us documentation of that. And then, of course, proof of home ownership and insurance. And that's something that's done towards the end of the process. Um, Right now, um, I explained this a little on, on the last slide. We do go up to 90%. Um, the, the maximum loan we'll do is 500,000, but between four and 500,000, we go, only go up to 80% loan to value. Um, our online portal is very easy. Um, you know, we, we recommend everyone to apply that way, but we can certainly help you. And we also encourage you to call us so we can go over everything before you even attempt to go online. Um, so, you know, we're here Monday through Friday. Um, the phones open up, except on Wednesdays, I think they open up at 10, but um, every other day they open up at 8.30 to four. And um, you can also email uh, you can email us and somebody will get back to you as soon as possible. Right now we are, um, we have a closing cost promotion. Um, if you apply, if you apply now between now and June 30th, you'll get a $500 closing cost credit towards your closing cost. Um, so, you know, now's a, you know, if you're thinking about it, you know, the $500, um, that, I think that's a pretty good incentive if it's something that you're really serious, uh, seriously thinking about doing. So again, feel free to call us. We'll go over the numbers with you, the total cost, and you can make your decision. Next slide. Is there, next, is there another slide or is that it? Um, and again, we also have... Um, we have uh, loan officers and loan processors from the home equity department. Um, the loan officers are actually the first trust mortgage um, lenders, but on Tuesdays at the Bowman branch and on Thursdays at the Senate branch. So, um, you know, if you want to go into the branch and talk to someone in person um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have somebody available most times and just make an appointment and you know, we'll, we'll help you out. But again, don't hesitate to call or email. And that was the last slide. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Welcome.
Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, that's a lot of great information. I know it was a lot of info, but uh, definitely a lot of um, uh, a lot of great stuff for for all of our members uh, to be aware. And um, and I do see that we already have uh, multiple questions in the in the Q and A and also in the chat. Uh, so again, um, uh, we want to invite everyone to uh, please you know make sure that so you submit your questions if you still have any. But I just uh, just wanted to highlight a couple of the things that uh, the Kelly and Sharon were were mentioning. Um, and obviously the, 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 the first one is, you know, that we can go up to um, $500,000 on an 80% uh, loan to value. Uh, and that would be the max that we can do when it comes to a home, home equity product. Um, and 400,000 would be 400,000, I'm sorry, would be on a 90% uh, loan to value. And, um, and, and I mean, again, it's, this is, I know this is the season, right? This is the time where a lot of people want, want to do home improvements, uh, whether, you know, they want to, they want to do upgrades, uh, because they want to, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, uh, Get the house ready for the summer, or even get it get it ready if you wanna if you wanna look into selling it. I mean, the, the, you know why we get into debt and, and with other uh, with other other our loan products um, and pay a higher interest rate when you can actually take advantage of the equity that you have already built in your house. So this is definitely the right time. And most important, as as Kelly alluded to, uh, we do have this um, uh, exciting promotion, which is five hundred dollars towards your closing costs. Um, that you know that we have available until the end of June. So uh, lots of great, um, um, uh, lots of great uh, 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 info, and obviously uh, most important in uh, you know the uh, uh, the information that was that was that was in there, and, and then the promo to uh, uh, to uh, that I will consider as an icing on the cake. But uh, uh, with that being said, uh, Kelly and Sharon, we do um, have some questions here that um, that you know myself and Eddie will be reading for you all. Um, Eddie, do you want to start off with the first uh, with the first question? Of course. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Kelly. Like Milton was saying, this is the time to apply for your loan, especially if you want to do some renovations and things like that. And that was some great information. As I as usual, like I always say, I always learn something new. So, ladies, thank you very much. So, when I get my house, I know what to do if I want a home equity loan. You know, that was very informative. Uh, the first question that we have is. Is there a max limit to the amount of home equity or line, line of credit loans? And also, is there a max amount on the HELOC? Can one of you answer that, please? Sure, I can answer it. Okay, the the, <clears throat> the maximum loan that we will do is 500,000, um, 80% loan to value. Um, and then what was the other question? Uh, if there was a max amount on the HELOC. So I guess is the, the same for all this or everything is 500? Right, 500. The minimum loan amount is 7,500. So right. the minimum is 7,500. The maximum is 500. Perfect. Thank you very much. So remember everybody, 7,500 for the minimum, 500,000 for the max. Milton? Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Kelly. And uh, I have another question here. Um, and that is... Uh, can uh, can you uh, do we uh, here at the credit union, uh, the United States Center Federal Credit Union, uh, are we able to offer uh, home equity products on a investment property? Um, unfortunately, we can't do it on investment properties. Now we can do it on a second home, like a vacation home that you use, or if you have a second residence. But if you Consider it an investment property. You're um, getting a, you're getting income from it, um, and it's on your tax returns. Then, unfortunately, we can't do it as a home equity loan. Uh, now, we do um, do investment properties on our first trust. If you were in the market to refinance, great. Thank you, Eddie. Yes. Uh... Ladies, and I think I know the answer for this one, but I will let you all answer. Is there a penalty for paying off the home equity loan quickly or before the maturity day? Is there a penalty for that? Never. Never. Ooh, exactly. I love that answer. <laughs> so everybody, we will never charge you a penalty to pay off early. The earlier you pay, you can definitely do that. If that's up to your convenience, you're more than welcome to do that. So we will never charge you a fee so if somebody's calling you like oh we're gonna charge you a fee 
uh, be careful with that. Just call us and make sure that we're the ones telling you that, but we will never charge you a fee. Milton? That's awesome. That's exciting. Um, another, uh, this is would, would be more in depth, I guess. Uh, the question is from, um, well, I won't read the name, but it says, I currently have a HELOC with another bank. Uh, it is a 10 year uh, HELOC and it expires in 2025. So it's got about um, a year and a half. Um, with the recent increase in interest rates um, going up a lot, I'm curious, are there any alternatives I could seek at the credit union? Uh, one that will not expire in 2025 and will give me a bit of more control of the increases. Well, increases, we, we do HELOCs also. So you could um, inquire and see if it would make sense for you to refinance with us. We would, you know, and if it's something, and what would happen is if it's something that, um, we could do, we would pay that off and then you'd have the loan with us. But with a HELOC, unfortunately, you can't control the, um, the increases. It's purely based on prime. Um, unfortunately, the last year and a half, there have been several increases, um, you know, and you know, everyone's fingers are crossed that hopefully in the next few months, the, um, I call it the bleeding will stop, but it's, um, right now prime is actually eight and a half percent. Now, currently we're charging our members that have these loans 8% through June 30th because our rates adjust quarterly. So, um, you get a little bit of break when um, the rate increases, when prime increases. But um, other than that, you really can't. It, it's a straight, um, you know, variable rate. There are no caps. Well, there are caps, but the caps are, are high. I mean, there are no um, limits. Well, the limits of how many times it can go up a year is four times a year because we we adjust every quarter. So whatever the rate is every quarter, that's what the rate is going to be. So those are the limitations. Now, I guess with some home equity loans, um, you know, the Fed meets almost every month, not quite every month, but I guess in theory, there are home equity loans out there that could adjust every time the the, the Fed meets if that's what the if that's what their index is based on. But um, ours is quarterly. Got it. So so kind of a follow up question to that one, Kelly. Uh, so can can a member can this uh, can this particular member benefit from actually uh, getting a home equity loan? and refinancing the home equity line that he has open and, and so that he can get a, a fixed interest rate uh, or will that will that be something that we might yeah. be able to If he has, a, if he, yeah, if, he, if there's enough equity, if he has enough equity and qualifies, then sure. We have actually a lot of people are doing that right now. We have several members that currently have HELOCs with us and because they have the equity and the concern with the rate going up, um, they are converting those to fixed rates. And you can go up to you can go up to a 15 year repayment with our fixed rates. So, you know, if, if that's something that you're considering, um, give us a call and we can have somebody help you run the numbers to see if that's something that would work. Thank you. Uh, Eddie? Uh, the follow up question, uh, and let's talk about the rates and things like that as well. Um, great answers, by the way. Great, great, great answers. What is the current interest rate on the home equity loan? And how long do you need to be in your home? There's no um, time frame of being in your home. So, you know, as long as you own it and you have equity and you qualify for the loan, you know, there, there's no, there's no time restraint on that. The interest rates um, right now, I'm looking at our website, um, you know, these, these can change and you all can go onto our site and, and look, but what I'm seeing right now, I have it up um, a six, you can do a five year, these are fixed rates. Now up to five years, the rate at 80, at 80% loan to value, um, it's 6.63, um, up to 90% loan 
loan to value at 6.88, that's five years. Um, for 10 years, up to 80% at 6.88, 90% at 7.13. And for 15 year, up to 80% at 7.13 and for 90% at 7.38. Right now, if you were to get a HELOC, the rate would be, right now, if you closed, it would be 8%. And um, June 2nd or June 1st, I'm sorry, July 1st, it would go up to um, eight and a half percent unless Fed in the next 30 days reduces, you know, lowers the rate. But right now you're probably looking um, at an eight and a half percent um, HELOC right now. And I think to follow up with what Kelly was saying, uh, with the interest rates, you can always check our website. And, you know, these are constantly changing. So whatever she tells us, this could be today, but tomorrow it could change. So uh, always check our website for the rates. You can do the search bar. You can just type rates, and then you get all the rates from our loans and our products and services that we have to offer as well. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Eddie. And um, like this. There's one more question. I guess it's more of a clarification. I'm assuming on this one. Um, they just wanted to clarify. It. So, as far as if you have a home equity uh, line, um, you can make payments on the on, on the interest only. Is that correct? Yes, we have two lines of credit. One is interest only, and the other one amortizes. Um, yeah. So now the one that um, amortizes, the payment is going to be higher. Um, the one that's interest only, the payments are going to be lower than a traditional type of either HELOC or um, a, a fixed rate. But, you know, the thing you have to remember is, you know, you have that low payment, but at some point, you know, if you don't make any principal payments, you're going to have a large payment at the end. Um, you know, most, uh, not all, but I mean, from what I've seen over the years, most people don't keep them the full 20 years. You either sell your house or you refinance it or, you know, you pay it off. But if you don't, that's, a, that's the um, uh, thing that you need to be, con you, you need to be aware of if, if you do an interest only. Perfect. And um, there's a follow up question with that is it says, so when do you make principal payments on the HELOC? Uh, I guess you, you just answer that, right? You start, was... Well, you start making principal, pay, you're required to start making principal payments on the interest only loan after the 10 month, 10 year draw. So after the 10 year draw, um, your payments are going to convert to principal and interest. And interest is, still, and you're still going to be paying interest. Uh, it's just the first ten years during your draw. If you don't make any uh, principal payments, it, it's, we're we're just collecting interest. Um, you know, there's, you know, if you there's a need for that in certain instances, and a lot a lot of people have them because, you know, this is especially in the DMV area. It's very very transit area. People people move you know, five, seven years, um, but, um, or if you need to do a lot of home improvements and you need low payments, but you see in the near future that your income is going to um, increase substantially. I mean, that that would be another reason to do it. Um, if, if you think, if you need the money, if you if you you know think you're going to move in a couple of years, that's why a lot of people get them because they're going to do all the home improvements, do what they need to do, and then they're flipping it. So it's not that big of a deal. Got it. Now, um, kind of like to to pick back what you were saying on uh, what you were just mentioning, Kelly uh, or Sharon. Um, are you, once you get a home equity uh, product with us, whether it's a line or or, or loan, um, it's a member able to refinance, do a refinance on that particular product, or is that not allowed? Sure. If, if, as long as as long as they meet the criteria at the time they're reapplying, um, and and the biggest the biggest um, hurdle would be is there enough equity to refinance? 
Um, you know, you'd still have to qualify credit wise, but yeah, people refinance every day. Yeah, that's that's great. That's great to know, and and especially now, um, you know, I mean, again, I guess what what I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying to add with that one is, is uh, you know, for for those that are you know interested about perhaps doing a, a debt consolidation, right, um, and and you don't want to go ahead and. and um, uh, and get into uh, you know a loan that probably you're going to be paying a, a higher interest rate. And uh, I apologize, my dog is barking on the outside, so you might hear him barking. Um, but um, what 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 I'm trying to say with that though is that uh, exploring taking advantage of the equity in your home uh, most likely will be way way cheaper than you know than doing a, a, some type of loan um, loan consolidation. Um, uh, debt consolidation loan. I'm sorry. Uh, so, and and then what uh, uh, Kelly just alluded to, you know, uh, yes, we understand that right now the rates might not be the uh, you know as low as they were a couple of uh, years ago. Um, but um, you know, if if you own a home in the in the DC area, um, you know, the odds are that you know the way how the trend has been, especially in this particular area, uh, you know, the the prices of the home is, is still on 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 the rise. Uh, so you are, um, you know, you 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 know. If, again, this one only impacts for the ones that have homes in the DC area, uh, or any other areas, you know, where you if you're close to the, uh, you know, uh, large cities where the demand for for housing is pretty high. But what I'm trying to say with that though is that uh, for those that uh, you know are are thinking about you know doing a debt consolidation or or just some home improvement, but are a little bit on the fence about you know getting into it right now because the rates might be too high well uh as kelly mentioned you know know that you can still do it and if uh you know down the road the rates were to drop you know you're you're always going to be able to um you know explore and doing a refinance and with the hope that the rates might be lower then uh but then again you know that still doing it now might be the best time um, and rather, rather than uh, getting a, a debt consolidation loan with a much higher interest rate, uh, why take that route when you can actually take advantage of your home equity uh, that you know that you already built? Um, so, with that being said, Aidy, are there any more questions uh, in the? Uh... Before we move on to the next question, I just want to give a shout out to one of our own. That's one of the attendees this evening, Miss Angie. It's here with us. She's part of that, you know, that lending team as well. So, Angie, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support and thank you for him here being here with us. So we appreciate that a lot. Just wanted to give you that special shout out. And I believe Kerry has a question. Wow, one of our own has a question. Let's go, Kerry. I have a question. Um, thank you, Eddie. What uh how do you access the funds in a HELOC? Like, do you get a credit card or a check, or how does that work? You don't get a credit card. Um we can we can order you checks. A lot of people um, just they, they can contact us and we can um, access the funds um, to their if they, especially if they have their checking account here. Um, but you know, it's very easy. It's it, uh, it's very easy to access funds with the high, uh, it's, but we don't have a credit card for that. Okay. For the home equity line of credit. Right. Okay. Perfect. So what would happen, Carrie, is that if the person gets the loan, uh, depending on the type of what loan it is, but it will it will get deposited to their account here at the credit union, mm -hmm. and they're using the money right away. If they have a checking account with a debit card, they can start using the money right away. They can start writing checks, or if they would like, they can also deposit the money into their checking account. And then once the money is in their checking account here at the United States and the Federal Credit Union, then they can wire the money out to uh, their personal financial institution, if, you know, if they would like to do that, you know, that. So uh, that would be one of the options, how you can get your funds, um, especially if you're thinking about remodeling your home. I know you like pools, so maybe you want to pool out there in Illinois. Who knows, you know? Yeah, Eddie, Eddie remembers how that works because yes. Eddie, Eddie used to be in our department and that's what he handled. <laughs> that's right. I do remember those days. Um, but yeah, so for everybody that's wondering, if you get a HELOG, you're only responsible uh, for the money that you transfer to, let's say, your checking account. Let's say, for example, you got the HELOG for $20,000 and you, only, you are only using, let's say, $5,000. You're only responsible to pay that $5,000, not the whole amount, unless you, you take the whole amount. Now, with the adjustable um, home equity loan and the fixed home equity loan, then you definitely have to use the whole amount. 
That's exciting. And um, um, so panel, I have one more question uh, on my part, and I think that's going to be it on, on, on my end. Um, and uh, but before I ask the question, I just want to remind everyone: uh, if you do uh, have any questions and you want to talk to one of our uh, experts on the phone, the number to dial is one 800 uh, 374 2758. Again, the number is 1 800 374 2758. Uh, or you can go at, at, to our website at ussfcu.org forward slash equity and you can get more information and then you, can, you can start the process on applying for um, uh, your home, home equity product. With that being said, um, and again, I, I promise this is my last question. Um, this is something that would we'll ask offline, uh, but that is. Uh, since I just mentioned, you know, how the Waste and Ohio member can can go ahead and start the process. So um, can you, I guess this will be more for Sharon. Sharon, can you tell us how long will the time, uh, how long will it take for the whole process to go through once a member submits the, their application? Um, how many, is it, is it, is it months? Uh, it's how many days is it? Uh, how long does it take from start to finish for a member to have their funds either on a uh, line of credit or all the all the money in, in their checking account with a loan. Generally, on average, the, the turnaround time from application to having the funds available is 30 days or less. Now, there are scenarios if there is title issues we have to resolve or if we have to get a full appraisal, um, it may take a few days more, but generally the average is um, 30 days or less to have from application to having the funds available. Thank you, Sharon. That's exciting, actually. Um, I remember I did a home equity product uh, loan myself a couple uh, about two years ago, and uh, it almost took almost took forty five days. I, I felt like I was going through a mortgage application instead of a home equity. Um, so that's great to know the turn turn uh, turnaround is is fairly fast. So when you say uh, less than thirty days, that's actually that's exciting. Um, yes, Milton. Um, I was just going to, um, I'm sorry to interject, but I have had member testimonies that said that exact same thing, that it took like two months at some financial institutions to get the home equity. So we really have a really good turnaround time on getting funds available. That's exciting. And you know what, that's, that's the difference of the United States and the Federal Credit Union. So, um, and as I said in the intros, you know, if you, if you look at it uh, right here between Sharon and Kelly, that's um, over 55 years of banking experience and lending. I mean, that is truly, uh, that tells you, you know, that you are at the right place um, when you're looking for your uh, home equity products. So thank you all so much. Uh, Eddie, any more questions or? I actually do see one more question on the Q&A. And I was going to agree with that, by the way, 30 days or less. Wow, that's very impressive. So shout outs to the lending team for always putting their effort and taking that extra mile for our members. So thank you for all you do. Uh, the question is, can the interest on the loan be claimed on your tax return? We can't give tax advice. Yes, um, yes. You need to really, when you're doing your taxes, ask, ask a tax consultant. Um, you know, you you might be able to, but we just can't. We can't give that kind of advice because there are instances where you can't. So, like Kelly's advice was saying, talks to your tax advisor. They can give you a more specific answer on that. And if you're looking for a tax advisor or a financial advisor in general, we have that here at the Credit Union. We have fellows. Uh, you know, we there's a third party company that we work with. And they give a time, uh, you know, advice on finances, investments, and things like that. And also, we have who else, Milton? We got Greenpath, correct? That is correct. Greenpath is our go-to for uh, whenever it comes to any um, any experts uh, outside of the credit union. Um, and with that, um, great point. I am glad you actually mentioned it, Eddie, uh, because we also want to invite you all to come back and attend our next uh, week's webinar, which is. Um, uh, it's going to be presented by Michael uh, from Fellows, our financial advisor, and it's going to be um, it's going to be on college savings accounts, five five twenty for those that have um, you know kids already in high school or just anyone that has kids and already wants to start you know uh, saving for college. Uh, please make sure that you uh, uh, register for that exciting webinar. Um, it's going to be next Wednesday. Uh, 
uh, 3 p.m. Is that correct, uh, Carrie? Yep, this next week's at three. Yeah, so next next week's gonna be at 3 p.m. So with that being said, um, don't wanna take much of your time. Um, I just wanted to uh, uh, say thanks again to Sharon and Kelly for providing and giving us so much information about our home equity products. Thank you all so much. Thank you all for all that you do for our members. Um, we are really excited to have you and being part of this amazing team. Um, also, Eddie and Carrie, uh, you guys are the best. Uh, and again, um, thank you to everyone that attended. We're gonna be sending this presentation um, to your emails for those that uh, uh, they came a little late or had to leave earlier. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that we send it out to, to everyone that registered for this webinar. So uh, once again, um, on behalf of the whole panel we just want to uh, say thank you and uh, wish you all a wonderful evening and we'll see you on the next webinar goodbye everybody thank Take you care. thanks everybody thank you ladies